IPL Radio, inspiring passionate lives for the community. Hey, welcome back and front and sideways and all that stuff on beyond. All right, after the technical hitch we had, it is all fixed because it's Libby, she's a super genius, she fixed it. Haha, <laughs> there you go. Mm-hmm. All right, and now we also have a special guest, Lizzie. Hello. Hi. Hello. Welcome in, Lizzie. Thank you. Now, tell us about yourself, Lizzie. Um, I am 15. I'm a singer-songwriter. Um, I write as a form of therapy and I like to inspire others to write as well. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, I am working on a side project with my fam- with my friends called um, Fix Your Attitude and we're mm. working on, it's going to be like a band thing, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. that's awesome. How many people are in your band? Uh, three others. Oh, no, it, it's three with me. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Two others, a trio. Yeah. Nice. So that's uh, cool. So what, what kind of music is it? Um, we sort of haven't really decided on that yet. Um, basically whatever comes, we just write it down and then it becomes something. Right. Beautiful. At 15, you've got all the time in the world to decide what, <laughs> you, what you want to do. And congratulations on recording a song. Thank you so much. I, I still think it's like really, really rough at the moment. It's not where it's supposed to be yet. But, wow, but it's what an achievement though, especially <laughs> at your age to have something out. I remember being 15 and I would have been absolutely terrified to do something like that. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations. I think that's amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. And um, so is that your first song you've recorded? Uh, yeah, recorded. Um, normally I just write stuff and it goes in the drafts and stays there forever. But I decided, you know what, I'll stick to it. And it became what it is. Yeah. And what was the inspiration behind it? Um... I've had some like drama in my life and I write as a way of just getting those emotions out. Yep. So I had a bit of a falling out and I'm like, okay, I'll write a song. Chucked it there. Now it's the song. Now it's on. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's how it is. Creativity. <laughs> Use your emotions and everything to, um, to make the process happen. So, so who's your influences? Um, probably just people in my life, like my family, my friends, they keep me going. I'm like, oh, wow, if you can do incredible things, I can do it as well. Oh, yeah. Same with... You're certainly doing incredible things. Thank you. I'm in awe of people that can <laughs> put music together. I think it's amazing. Thank you. Um, my singing teacher, Rochelle, is a huge inspiration to me. She's taught me all I know, made me who I am. Yep. <laughs> so and From what I've heard, you have a beautiful voice. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So we could have the next famous person here I know, with us I'm now. Very, right? I'm very yeah. excited about this. All <laughs> of you brought <laughs> autograph things ready for us, yeah, so... <laughs> This is, uh, this is it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So what about your musical in- influences? Who sort of, what's your favourite music at the minute? Um, I'm very into my Arctic Monkeys, but my songs don't sound anything like that. Um, That's all right. Yeah, good choice. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't really, I just love the Arctic Monkeys, love all those type of bands and stuff like that. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that what mum listens to? Um, she has to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I go, and she's into musical theatre. So oh, yeah. I'm driving along singing musical theatre songs going, how do I even know the words to yeah, this? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but she was born to know Powderfinger from start to finish. Ah, uh, yes. Dad and I. Yes, yes, well <laughs> done. <laughs> All right. That's cool. So I guess uh, on the car journeys, you'll be the one that's singing, right? Yeah. <laughs> does mum, mum sing along with you at all? She does, yes. Oh, that's good. How about in the future, mum might be in a video with you or something like that? That would be wicked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sorry to drop you in it there, mum. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <you're> <laughs> but sometimes it works. We actually had a young singer in a little while ago, same age as yourself. Oh, cool. uh, she's called Bailey Perry. Oh. So if you have a look on YouTube as well, her, her new single is actually released in four days. Oh, wow. So that could be like, you, you are the new generation of the best singers, you know, so... I reckon like you'll end up meeting her later on, and yeah. So, have you got any plans to release? Release to release? Yes. (laughs) Um, definitely, we're going to release a song that me and my band are working on. I haven't really got any solo plans sorted yet. Solo is uh, it's harder than you think, but uh, (laughs) with your friends backing you up is great. So, I mean, you you could then you've got support. Oh yeah, well. exactly. All yeah. support and it's so. Is it your school friends? Is it or yeah? Um, so we currently have two vocalists and one person that just like plays all the music. So oh yeah, we've also got one friend in our friendship group that plays our number one fan girl. She's <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. Um, when you say plays all the music, have you got one of those friends that can play every instrument? He picks like it up and just knows it. Oh, those people. Um, <laughs> but we mostly play. I have my piano that MIDI does the thing so I can change it into other instruments. Yeah, so that's yeah. what I've been doing with my song and probably future songs and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, wow. <laughs> so 
you've got composers in there. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> so do you, do you do a lot of computer work with your MIDI MIDI effects and that? Yeah, I use GarageBand on my like iPad and stuff. Oh yeah. Um, it takes ages to learn how to do all this stuff. Oh, I bet you. But I'm still far from being a professional. But yeah, I use my iPad, use my like um, AirPods. Yeah. Yep. I use my computer uh, computer and my keyboard. Um. Most of my song was actually recorded with me, the blanket over my head, <laughs> nestled into my thing. Yeah, Whoa. yeah. That's, you that's know, the best, sound. best yeah. condenser. Right? <laughs> she was sitting on the couch that we have in my music room with my dog with a cup of coffee laughing at me because I'm there at like three o'clock in the morning going, your words. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you a secret. I've got um, a friend that does voiceover work for a oh. lot of a lot of big, big radio stations oh. and um, and television and I know that he has a laundry set up. With his doona over yeah. the top <laughs> to get the sound right and pillows around the back because you can spend $700 on something that yeah. a pillow will do the job for. Yeah. <laughs> so well, I don't do laundry for a reason. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm with you, I'm with you. <laughs> I'm supporting the next generation. <laughs> I'm stealing that. <laughs> I feel, I feel terrible now. All I use is my mobile phone. It's got, <laughs> it's got a good microphone yeah. and I've got my garage in there and that's it. I don't yeah. sing, but I just I do the little adverts and stuff like that and yeah yeah it's amazing what people can use rather than having all the fancy equipment because well that's it yeah Yeah. i mean years and years ago the actual garage band literally was a garage band a set of acoustic drums or real drums guitars and amplifiers i mean how far are you away from that it's basically the same thing me in my back room (laughs) it was too echoey so i was like oh tuck the blanket on yeah (laughs) yeah i also like tap dance and stuff so it's all like Sometimes the echo's good, sometimes it's not. So. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm a tap dancer too. Oh, <gasps> cool. Yes. I, d- I danced with Jody Marshall Dance Company. Oh, that's cool. Right there. Yeah, so big tap studio. That's yeah. pretty, that, that's amazing. Yeah. So you can tap, you can keep a beat. <laughs> <laughs> you should get out. a drum kit. <laughs> oh, well, we have had that and then we got the silenced one because uh, yeah, yeah. my son liked the... Um, <laughs> a lot and then it <laughs> the drums got destroyed yeah. so it's like those toys that lose batteries and i don't know how oh how yeah, yeah many of many yeah. of those have mm-hmm. come through my house yeah. too and the drums went missing oh yeah. oh that yeah. big storm came through and it's terrible the right, isn't it I yeah i don't know i beyond me yeah <laughs> so those noisy toys suddenly get fixed yeah <laughs> yeah those noisy toys the batteries go oh we went oh. through a, f- a phase with people buying ki- my kids chainsaws oh. and I've, you know, I've got two girls and it was yeah. just almost a competition of the noisiest thing that somebody could buy. Yeah, so a drum, a drum kit, I think, is uh, <laughs> <laughs> fair call if that flew over the fence. It was, yeah. <laughs> so with, with your computer um, musical instruments and that, obviously you get pretty much any instrument you want. Where, where would you start off with a song? Would you start off with a, the words first or the music or just go as it is? Um, I'm someone who starts with chords and then works off that. So I go... Uh, and then I start playing stuff and I go, all yeah. right, keep that, keep that. Um, words are like the last thing I add because I'm not, uh-huh. I think, well, I can ha- I can write to something that's already there, but I can't write with nothing there. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's exactly the way I do it as well. Yeah. A lot of people have a whole set of words like poetry or rap or just some a story and they go, how can I make that into song? And that's where the, the phone app Songify came in. <laughs> have you ever yeah. heard that one? Yeah, <laughs> it's it's where some you can take a news broadcast or anything, and it just it's somebody speaking normally, and it puts a song behind it. And I thought oh, that's a good idea to learn from, you yeah. know. So yeah, I, I tend to do the music first. Well, obviously that's it's a good way for you to do it. Yeah. So how how many songs have you actually done so far? Anyway, um, properly recorded, I think one. Um, I also did um, a stripped down cover of Little Lies that I finished oh, by Fleetwood right. Mac, which is pretty cool. But I haven't really got anything else like sorted yet. Fleetwood <laughs> Mac's a, a good, um, yeah, a good cover. Them. Yeah, nice. So, do you do uh, many other covers at all? Have you got a favorite band to cover itself? Um, not really. I just hear a song and I'm like, oh, I could strip that back. So I go to my piano and I sort of do it, and then I strip it back, and I'm like, okay, that's that's the song I want. You know. Right. What do you mean by strip that back? Do you mean uh, say? I'm in the Metallica band. Mm-hmm. Have you ever heard of Enter Sandman? Yeah. Okay. Would you do like an acoustic version? Is that like a strip yeah, that back? Yeah, it would be like one, like chords on the piano and that's it. And just right. like harmonies and stuff. Yeah. Oh, that sounds fun. <laughs> really like raw stuff. Yeah. I, quite, I quite enjoy the uh, acoustic or anything like that. I mean, Nirvana did a lot of that sort of stuff as well. And that's, well, we're into that music. We've got that music <laughs> yeah. playing today. And uh, yeah, it's it's... 
it's interesting the way way things can be changed. Eric Clapton did it with Layla, and he changed it to a complete acoustic version. And I think that was about his cat or something, wasn't it? Yeah, Eric yeah. Clapton's cat <laughs> called Layla keeps me up all night. Yeah, Aww. that's that's where people think, oh, what is it? You know, so yeah, yeah. yeah. a bit of education for you. <laughs> so, but it's it, yeah, songs can influence you by if you've got animals. You can say, what does that animal do? You go, oh, it keeps me running all night long, keeps me up, makes noises, starts to bite me if I don't pay attention. Then you put that into songs, just like your feelings. It's I suppose that's how the folk songs wear, uh, work, really, isn't it? Are you are you in any folk music at all? Not really. <laughs> Not really? So it's, it's more middle-of-the-range rock, yeah. grunge and sort of stuff. Nice. Cool. <laughs> I feel like the nineties the nineties music is coming back. Oh it is. Yeah. It's a big circle. I mean yeah. it's there's a lot of a lot of people now into the fifties music. Yeah. And that's getting mixed with the two thousands music. And then the nineties will come right back with things like Two Unlimited, um, Def Leopard, yeah. all the dance and rock that came through because there's just so much electronic music now. Yeah. And then you get the real musicians like yourself. <laughs> then that, that's where you get real songs come out. So yeah. yeah. Original. <laughs> that's it, exactly. So, yes. We have a, was it a backup track of Fix Your Attitude? Yes. Would you be interested in having a little sing song? Yes, of course. Oh, and that's cool. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll tune that up. Is there anything else you'd like to add for us? Um, um. Feel good, feel good. Yeah. Feel good. Well, a few more questions. Like what what do you do at school and stuff like that? Um, I do lots of stuff with the art. So I'm in drama, I'm in music and all that stuff. So um, I also write a lot. So I write stories, write little bits of musicals and stuff like that. You are creative. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very, very creative. Do you write for school plays and stuff, do you? Um, I wrote a school play in year eight, which is about aliens, and it covered <laughs> – it was, it was embarrassing. Um, but it followed, like, bullying and stuff like that and, yeah. like, why bullying is bad and the effect it has on people. So, yep. Through aliens. That's good. So. Well, when you think your idea is – when you said it's, it's embarrassing or it's bad, you think about – somebody made up the, um, the movie Sharknado – which was about a tornado full of sharks, and other people thought that was I, that idea was so good that they financially backed it, and then so many people went and saw it that they made a sequel. And when you think about the idea of that, you think it's a tornado full of sharks. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! So what everybody's ideas movies. never say your ideas are bad. Like you're, you'd be proud My of it. Husband's always said to her, "Save everything. It yes, doesn't matter how absolutely. bad it is. Keep it." Yep. That's the best advice, actually. <laughs> yeah. Actually, and that is a, a good thing. Have you got any advice for any other young starters? Just do it. I know Just it seems it. hard. <laughs> Write down everything you have because it will be useful. That's and awesome. There's no such thing as you can't. You can. I believe in you. Anyway. you. You can't have a can without the tea or something. Or you can't have a can without something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just re- just get rid of the tea. I think that's good, <laughs> good advice for all ages, that one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all righty. So can you hear me quite well through the earphones? Because I've just sort of given you a plug in. No I can hear you, so that's good. Okay, I'm just worried about if you get the music. So oh, let's okay. see. What is the number on the top of your microphone? Is two. Number two. Okay, so I'll play this uh, backup track for you, and hopefully we'll, it'll work. And you should be able to hear the music through the headphones. So if you can't, I'll restart it again for you, um, just because there's just technical things going on. Little gremlins, I just blame it all on Libby. <laughs> blame it all on Libby, that's yes, it. Yes, yes. All Always right. goblins in my phone. Oh. Fixing That's my autocorrect. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you're on number two, and I'll dim the other ones in a second, and just give me the thumbs up if you can hear the music, and then just take it right away. Okay? So this could be, this is Fix Your Attitude. Yes, enjoy.
done. Yeah. <laughs> On the amazing. spot and the pressure, and it was good. It was yeah. good. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> that's amazing. So it's never easy. 15 years old and you just come in and do that. That's <laughs> it. It's, it's never easy to sing in front of a small audience. Never easy oh. to do anything in a small yeah. audience. Agreed. It's, uh, it's always, I mean, you get a thousand people in front of you. Yep, fine. You can do whatever because nobody's yeah, focusing. You can't You're, see exactly. Yeah. You can't pick out the individual. And one or two people, they're like, oh my God, they're looking at me. They're I looking think at I was me. Just what are you doing? Like this <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so very cool. Yeah, well, I call that all on audio, on record, so this will be played and played again, so it's yeah. your own radio now, and you're famous Woo-hoo. and all that stuff, <laughs> and we will certainly be looking for that uh, single when you release it. Yes. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Congratulations again. Thank on you that. so it's much. I really amazing. appreciate that. Yeah. Um, unreal. Yeah, nerves of steel too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and another thing, I do like your jacket, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> you wear, you're wearing did you like... Did watch the Loki series? I did. <laughs> It's absolutely the best series, oh, yeah. yeah, the little minute thing. I was re- I thought I recognised that. I couldn't remember where from. <laughs> but anything to do with Marvel stuff, I'm, I'm into that, you know, Same. so it's good. Yeah. Ah, well done. Thank you. Okay. All righty. So is there anything else you'd like to add to it? So like, have you got a website you've got? In? Have you got any YouTube videos, um, Instagram, Facebook, all that sort of stuff? How do we, we f- how do we find you? Yeah. What, what oh, do we search? Um, I have an Instagram account called... Um, is it Lizzie Georgia Martin? It should be. Um, I don't know. Um, and that's my sort of professional email account. Uh, yep. The le- Instagram account. Yep. Um, also on YouTube, I have my band's YouTube account, which yep. is Fix Your Attitude. Fix Your Attitude. Um, yeah, so you'll find more of uh, me there. So if I typed into YouTube, just Fix Your Attitude, it would come straight up with yours? Yeah, if you type Fix Your Attitude Help, it'll come to the song that I released, and then you press the, like, Channel. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Just go yeah. button. <laughs> That's yeah. it. And that who does, will that have this song on it, will it? Yes. Ah, beautiful. So, yeah, our listeners can go there. Have you got any listeners or f- a family overseas who do this as well? Um, not really. I'm sure we can find somebody to go over there. I've obviously got family in England, so I'll send it over to them. They can have a listen. I've got performers in England as well, so they can do that. And you've got friends over east, haven't you, Libby? I do, I do. I've got lots of friends in the mu- music industry. Eastern states. There you go. Yeah. So pass and pass around and help and each other out. Bringing it to WA. <laughs> exactly. So we we'll also look forward to seeing you when you're famous, of course. <laughs> it will. Uh, it will. Keep going and keep going. With a voice like that, I love. believe it'll happen. Yeah. Thank you. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So, um, I think that's all I've got to ask, really. So, so on the spur moments and that. Apart from, if there's anything else, Mum, would you like to add anything? just like you know her dad and I are just so proud of her she's just yeah <laughs> as you see now is what she is she's just humble she's yeah yep a lovely kid and Jamie's probably going to be the next one as well Ooh. he can sing so I don't know where they get it from not us <laughs> oh, it'll be it'll be there somewhere it'll oh, be good no. they were sporty growing up my mum and dad all ah, right yeah so we can have your little bro on soon <laughs> yeah <laughs> good stuff oh thank you guys so much for coming thank in for having us thanks for the opportunity no worries. no worries. Have you got any songs you would like us to play? Not really. Arctic Monkeys? Yeah, yeah Arctic uh, Monkeys. Arctic Monkeys. Oh, wow. It's, um, I don't know. We might have to play those in a minute. I will. <laughs> I say I'll definitely find some Arctic Monkeys. Arctic Monkeys. I'm typing it into my song refinder. <laughs> uh, oh, dear. We're the only ones with non swearing in. <laughs> <laughs> we were we were in with the mayor the other day. He requested a song that we were, we had to do this exact same thing. Just give us a sec. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, well, have you got any any music by the Arctic Monkeys that doesn't have any swearing in that? We'd like because we we can't really put sweary words on, especially the unfiltered songs. Unfortunately. Do you have any Missy Higgins? Just completely unrelated. Oh uh, yeah. Scar by Missy Higgins. That's a good song. Scar. Missy Higgins is a pretty safe bet. Yeah. Yeah. Missy Higgins, a uh, song finder, and it's Scar, is it? Yeah. Oh, what's that song about? Um, I don't know. Missy Higgins. Is, oh, that was what I was supposed to say earlier. Missy Higgins is a huge inspiration for me. Oh, there yeah, you go. It comes she's out. Beautiful. Oh dear, what have I got here? <laughs> I right. didn't recognise her recently when I saw her because um, her hair's so long now. She always yeah. had that really short. Um, we, ho- we saw her live when she was pregnant and she forgot the words. Oh, really? Oh, that's what'll happen, huh? <laughs> yeah. That happens to the best. 
All right. I didn't get my words. There today. you go. No, you did well. You did so well. All righty, here it is for you. And this is Scar by Missy Higgins. Enjoy and thank you heaps for coming in, all three of you. Thank you. Thank you. No worries.